In this 5 minute IELTS video, I'm focusing on speaking part 2. For people who don't know much about this exam, in speaking part 2, the examiner gives you a topic card. It looks something like this. You have to talk about your topic for between 1 uh, and 2 minutes. Obviously, it's better if you can speak for the whole 2 minutes. I have to say though, Talking about one topic for two minutes can be difficult, even for a native speaker. However, you do get one minute to prepare your answer. And in this video, I want to show you two little strategies that you can use to prepare yourself during this important one minute. The first strategy is something I call the six W's who, what, why, when, where, how. Uh, yeah, I am cheating a little bit with the how. I'm going to show you how you can use this strategy to make some notes. I'm going to um, make some notes now about uh, a memorable holiday I had. So first, uh, when? November 2015 where New York City, uh, east coast of the USA. Um, what I did uh, saw monuments, uh, went uh, to bars, clubs. Uh, who did I go with? <clears throat> I went by myself. Uh, but I stayed with a friend. Um, how did I get there? Um, by plane. Um, uh, why did I go there? Well, I wanted to see skyscrapers. And also um, the Statue of Liberty. And also see my friend. So... Make, making those notes took me about one minute. I hope you can see now I have uh, quite a lot of information in front of me that I can use when I speak. The second strategy is called PPF or Past, Present, Future. It comes from the British Council. You can see this time I have a different topic card. Um, this time what you should do is write little phrases, OK? And this strategy encourages you to use a variety of tenses. For example, present perfect. That's important because if you can use a variety of tenses accurately, it will help you get a good grammar score. So let me give you a demonstration. Um, a treasured gift that I received. Um, let me think of some phrases using past tenses. OK, I received a watch from my parents uh, for my birthday. That's one. Um, I'd wanted a good watch for a long time. Now, how about something uh, with um, some present tenses? I've owned the watch for nearly 20 years. And I still wear the watch nowadays. And finally, something with a future form. There we go. Let me show you um, the tenses that I used uh, here. Past simple. I've got a past perfect construction. Um, present perfect. Uh, present simple and also will plus infinitive. So I'm coming to the end of this video. I hope it was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.